What is going on everyone and welcome back to the Bug BMX YouTube channel. Some of you may be wondering why the Beetle looks so good right now and the exhaust is completely jacked up and it's covered in mud and the giant semi stack is gone if you guys did not see the previous video where we did the giant semi stack on the beetle definitely go watch it after this one so yeah we were out in the field we were doing donuts and next thing you know the stack that is laying right on the ground came off which i'm very surprised because i am one of the best welders and i thought you know what actually Take that back, I am one of the best welders and my welds were so strong that it actually just ripped chunks out of the pillar of the beetle and broke all the other brackets. So that goes to say I am like a professional welder. Broke off and then it bent my original stack really bad. We're gonna start it up, it hasn't been ran in about a week now so we'll give you guys a nice little cold start. It's been about eight degrees the last couple nights. So enjoy, turn your volume up, you're gonna wanna hear this. say out of every vehicle I have ever owned from the Lamborghini to the SEMA truck to the Beetle nothing sounds better than this Cummins swapped Beetle I'm hands down you guys name a better sounding vehicle in the comments right now I guarantee you can do a launch and I don't even know if this thing has oil in it but who cares? Uh... Before we do the cutting, we need to get rid of the windows. And I've always heard that if you take a spark plug and throw it out a window, it can just shatter it. I've never seen it done. I've never done it myself. I figured I gotta get rid of some windows anyways. So we're gonna grab some spark plugs from Grady's Corvette cause he's doing new plugs. He's doing new headers. He's doing a bunch of stuff, but he's got old spark plugs that we can throw at the windows. Let's see if this actually works. Um, I couldn't find the old spark plugs from the Corvette. So I just grabbed a brand new one. And I'm just going to toss it this back window and see what happens. Well, that was cool. Okay, apparently Riken has a better throw than me. strong arm. Let's see it, bud. You guys. Oh my god. Let's take that little piece of ceramic and see if that does the job. And look at that. Spider cracked the entire window. We can get better than that, though. Yeah, we can do better. All right, we finally got an actual big piece of ceramic off the spark plug. We'll save this piece for the back window. I'll let you do the honors of throwing it. Make sure you throw it hard enough and don't miss. Nothing. Let her rip, bud. Oh, yes. Why use a spark plug when you can just use a full size hammer? Okay, now everyone, let's get in our swimsuits, get in the back seat, and go drive around. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah, baby. Uh, so this glass made a much bigger mess than I expected so I'm going to take some of this glass cleaner and spray it and hopefully this cleans up all the glass because it's a mess right now. Now we wait. Alright everyone I'm telling you this stuff is magic. The best thing for cleaning up glass. Uh, check it out in there. It's freaking spotless. I'm telling you guys if you ever need to clean up glass. Just use glass cleaner, it takes it right up. If you or a loved one are sick of the government tracking your every move, just make this quick, simple step. Get rid of this end. Just like that, the government can no longer track you. It's that easy.
dude, are you like really watching a video on how to like get those shocks off? Well, yeah, I'm trying to pull off and they're not going and I need them off to get this off. And I've watched like three different YouTube videos and they're not coming off. Uh, probably kick it or like bite it or something really hard. That works. <laughs> Let her rip. <laughs> My, why are you so weak? <laughs> Wait, why are you so weak? <laughs> Smack it harder. I'm harder. Get, be strong. <laughs> why is it not breaking? Okay, come on. You got it. Oh, there you go. Gritty, go ahead and give them the safety test. Okay, you guys, look at that. Nothing. A little bit of paint where the fender is completely fine. So even if a semi came right into the side of this car, it would do literally nothing. That's why if you are looking for a safe, reliable vehicle, I highly recommend getting yourself one of these pristine beetles. And then when you just go ahead to fix it, you just take your paint. And just like that, it's like we never even hit it with a hammer. So again, if you're a high school girl and you get your first car and you, it happens to be a beetle and you crash into literally everything, just carry around some spray paint and no one will ever know. Convertible mod initiated. Oh, look at that. Dropping the top. There we go, baby. Just like that. What should we name this thing? I'm thinking like the Bug Camino or, or what? Because you guys know we got the Cummins in the front, now this in the back. And you know what they say? Business in the front, party in the back. Aiden, what do you think about the Bug Camino? Good. I honestly, I think this looks way better than the factory Beetle. What do you guys think? Comment down below right now your thoughts and opinions on the new look. It just, it's a perfect little mini truck. Just like that, we have the flatbed resting on the Beetle. Again, resting. We have not welded anything yet. I am, however, going to build my own headache rack because if I'm ever putting a load on this, I don't want it to ever shift into the cab and injure me or the passenger. So headache rack I will build and then um, that'll support it when I tie it into the gooseneck hitch. And then I'll also add some supports from the body up onto here. Because the last thing I want you guys is for something to be on this, have it go into the cab or fall off and scratch the car. That would just really break my heart. But so far, I'm absolutely in love with how this is looking. Ladies and gentlemen, I announce to you the world's first ever flatbed truck slug bug. This thing is unreal and I am so stoked on how it turned out. I cannot stop smiling. I think this is the coolest thing ever and I really wish I would have done this the day I bought this car. Check this thing out. Oh, I cannot wait to put all sorts of stuff on this flatbed. Here's all of my supports. 
We got one going up here, up to this um, like headache rack that ties into the gooseneck hitch and uh, all the mesh on top of this so nothing falls through. And then we got some supports down in there so nothing bends on us or falls. When we put like six, 8,000 pounds on this thing, I don't want it to fall off, if you know what I mean? Uh, what do you guys think? How do you think this looks? Let me know down below right now in the comment section. Now be honest with me right now. Do you guys like how it looks? Are you surprised it looks this good? Or do you completely just think it looks like total garbage? Let me know. So I'm going to prove to you guys that my fabricating and engineering is top notch. And we're going to give you guys kind of like a flex test to show you how strong this thing really is. Come on. It's like a trampoline. <laughs> keep her going, keep her going. Oh, I died. <laughs> we killed that we were bouncing so much. Okay, go all the way to the edge. All the way to the edge. Now bounce. See you guys, we are the ultimate. Oh, oh, oh no! <laughs> it's a ramp. <laughs> hey, it looks even better. It does. <laughs> that wasn't planned. Um, but I have to say, it looks even better now because it actually fits the curvature of the car. So I'm not mad. We're going to actually keep rocking with this and I can still put stuff on there and strap it down. One of my supports actually pierced through the bottom of the car right there, which caused this to fold and bend like a piece of licorice. But I honestly, this looks so much better now that it, plus when I go to drive my dirt bike or Banshee up it, I, like it gives me a much better approach and it won't be near as sketchy. We have loaded up the Banshee onto the back of the El Bugo or Bug Camino, whatever you want to call it. Look at how sick this thing looks up there. There is no need to ever waste your money on buying a truck when you can just buy a bug, cut the top off, put a flatbed on it, and then bam, you are set. everyone this damn beetle the battery in it it just won't keep the old girl running I'm getting really frustrated I've had to use a stupid jump box like 468 times and I'll jump it again so we can keep the video going but if I could afford a new $60 battery I'd go get one but right now I can't afford it because I just spent all my money on this flatbed so bear with me everyone bear with me
She's sweating horsepower. I lost the Banshee somewhere. Uh, I, I don't know where it could have fell off, but I've not yet found it. And my exhaust is kind of like a front fender stack. Uh, yeah, let's say the exhaust kind of got ripped right from the downpipe and is now wedged in between my passenger front wheel and the fender. And now it's dying and it's having a really hard time starting. But I think it's still got one more video. I've said this so many times, but I really believe we have one more video to finish off the Beetle. You guys, comment all your ideas down below right now. What should we do to put this Beetle out of its misery? Best idea gets a shout out and we'll do it. Let me know right now. I have to say this video was a complete success. And if you guys have not yet already, go down below and leave a big like on today's video. And let me know, what do you guys think of the flatbed? Do you think that every Beetle should come factory with this option? And that is going to be a wrap. Again, if you have not yet already, comment what we should do to finish this off and let me know how you like the flatbed. And like this video for the sends, baby. Hit the subscribe button with post notifications on because like I said, we got one more banger with this thing and I got a few other projects that are in the works right now and you guys are not going to want to miss it. Anyways, I will see all of you in the next video. Your boy Bug is out. Peace.